everyone. This time, I will be discussing how to compute the number of page faults that may occur using another type of page replacement algorithm, which is known as optimal page replacement algorithm. When we say optimal page replacement algorithm, the idea here is we replace the page that will not be used for the longest period of time. Say, for example, we are given here a sample problem. So this is our sample problem. Consider a process with seven pages as it is processed by a system with four available page frames. The following string depicts the ordering on which pages are needed during the execution of the process. So this is the order in which pages are needed during the execution of the process. As stated in the problem, we have seven pages. These pages are page 1, page 2, page 3, page 4, page 5, page 6, and page 7. And we only have four available page frames in our memory. So how can we compute the number of page fault using optimal page replacement algorithm? Again, we have here the order on which pages are needed during the execution of the process. First in the order is page 1, followed by page 2, and then page 3, and then 4, 2, 1, 5, 6, 2, 1, 2, 3, 7, 6, 3, 2, 1, 2, 3, and the last page in the order is page 6. And then we have here our available page frames in the memory. So this is frame 1, this is frame 2, this is frame 3, and this is frame 4. The first page which I will be calling is page 1. Because page 1 is not in the frame, we need to swap in page 1 in the frame. And swapping in page 1 in the frame will cause a page fall. Because there are available frames, I can swap in page 1 in one of our available frame, particularly in frame 1. The next page which I will be calling is page 2. Because page 2 is not in the frame, we need to swap in also page 2 in the frame. And swapping in page 2 in the frame will again cause a page fall. Because we still have available page frames, I can swap in page 2 in one of our available frames. So the content now of the frames are page 1 and page 2. The next page which I will be calling is page 3. Because page 3 is not in the frame, I need to swap in page 3 in the frame. And swapping in page 3 will again cause page fall. And since there are still available frames, I can swap in page 3 in one of our available frames. So the content now of the frames are page 1, page 2, and page 3. The next page which I will be calling is page 4. Because page 4 is not in the frame, I need to swap in page 4 in the frame. And swapping in page 4 in the frame will cause a page fault again. And since there is still an available frame, I can swap in page 4 in the available frame. So therefore, the content now of the frames are page 1, page 2, page 3, and page 4. The next page which I will be calling is page 2. The content of the frames are page 1, 2, page 3, and page 4. So because page 2 is in the frame, calling in page 2 will not cause a page fall. The next page which I will be calling is page 1. The content of the frames are pages 1, 2, 3, and 4. Because page 1 is still in the frame, so calling page 1 here will not cause a page fault. And then the next page which I will be calling is page 5. The content of the frames are pages 1, 2, 3, and 4. Because page 5 is not in the frame, I need to swap in page 5 in the frame. And swapping in page 5 in the frame will cause a page fault. Because there are no available page frames anymore, I need to swap out first a page from the memory or from the frame for me to be able to swap in page 5. And since we are using optimal page replacement algorithm, 
I will be swapping out a page that will not be used for the longest period of time. For us to be able to determine the page that will not be used for the longest period of time, so we are going to look at page 5. The farthest page from the right side of this page is the page that will not be used for the longest period of time. So from among pages 1, 2, 3, and 4, the farthest page from the right side of 5 is page 4. Since we have here page 6, 2, 1, 2, 3. So we have no page 4 here. So therefore, the farthest page from among pages 1, 2, 3, and 4 from the right side of 5 is 4. So therefore, I am going to swap out page 4 for me to be able to swap in page 5. So pages 1, 2, and 3 are still here. Swapping in page 5 will cause a page fall. The next page which I will be calling is page 6. The content of the frames are pages 1, 2, 3, and 5. Because page 6 is not in the frame, I need to swap in page 6. And swapping in page 6 in the frame will cause again a page fault. And I need again to swap out a page from the frame for me to be able to swap in page 6. From among pages 1, 2, 3, and 5, it is page 5 which is farthest from the right side of 6 since this is 2, 1, 2, 3. So we have no page 5 here. So the farthest page from the right side of 6 from among 1, 2, 3, and 5 is page 5. So therefore, I need to swap out page 5 for me to be able to swap in page 6. So pages 1, 2, and 3 are still here. The next page which I will be calling is page 2. The content of the frames are pages 1, 2, 3, and 6. Since page 2 is in the frame, so we have no page fault for calling page 2 here. The next page which I will be calling page which I will be calling is page one. The content of the frames are pages one, two, three, and six. Since page one is still in the frame, so there is no page fault for calling page one here. The next page which I will be calling is page two. The content of the frames are pages one, two, three, and six. Since page 2 is still in the frame, so there is no page fault for calling page 2 here. And then the next page which I will be calling is page 3. Okay, the content of the frames are pages 1, 2, 3, and 6. Since page 3 is still in the frame, so there is no page fault again for calling page 3 here. The next page which I will be calling is page 7. The content of the frames are pages 1, 2, 3, and 6. So since page 7 is not in the frame, I need to swap in page 7. And swapping in page 7 in the frame will again cause one page fall. And I need again to swap out a page from the memory or from the frame for me to be able to swap in page 7. From among pages 1, 2, 3, and 6, it is page 1 which is farthest from the right side of page 7 since this is page 6 3 2 and 1 so therefore page 1 is the farthest page from the right side of 7 so therefore i need to swap out page 1 and i need to swap in page 7 instead so pages 2 3 and 6 are still here. The next page which I will be calling is page 6. The content of the frames are pages 7, 2, 3, and 6. Since page 6 is still in the frame, so there is no page fault for calling page 6 here. The next page which I will be calling is page 3. The content of the frames are pages 7, 2, 3, and 6. Since page 3 is still in the frame, so there is no page fault again for calling page 3 here. The next page which I will be calling is page 2. 
the content of the frames are pages 7, 2, 3, and 6. Since page 2 is still in the frame, so there is no page fault for calling page 2 here. And then the next page, which I will be calling is page 1. The content of the frames are pages 7, 2, 3, and 6. Since page 1 is not in the frame, I need to swap in page 1 in the frame. And swapping in page 1 in the frame will again cause a page fault. And I need again to swap out a page from the memory or from the frame for me to be able to swap in page 1. From among pages 7, 2, 3, and 6, it is page 7 which is farthest from the right side of page 1. Since this is 2, this is 3, this is 6, so there is no page 7 here. So therefore, from the right side of 1, it is page 7 which is the farthest. So I am going to swap out page 7 and swap in page 1 instead. Okay, so pages 2, 3, and 6 are still here. The next page which I will be calling is page 2. So the content of the frames are pages 1, 2, 3, and 6. Since page 2 is still in the frame, there is no page fault for calling page 2 here. The next page which I will be calling is page 3. The content of the frames are pages 1, 2, 3, and 6. Since page 3 is still in the frame, there is no page fault for calling page 3 here. And then the last page which I will be calling is page 6. The content of the frames are pages 1, 2, 3, and 6. Since page 6 is still in the frame, there is no page fault for calling page 6 here. Okay, so we are done with calling all of our pages. Okay? We are now ready to determine or to compute for the total number of page faults. So we count now the total number of page faults. So we have here 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So the total number of page faults is now equivalent to 8 using optimal page replacement algorithm.